Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking about the Windows 11 upgrade. If you haven't gotten it by now, you'll probably be getting it pretty soon. They're going to be definitely more aggressive and pushing out the update uh, probably pretty soon. So if you ever get a notification or any update that's going to be saying, hey, you should upgrade to Windows 11, we don't want you to fear. We want you to go uh, forward with it when you do think it's appropriate. We always like to stay away a little bit from the newest update always for a few months just to make sure you get there's no problems with drivers, especially on laptops and um, also just for them to fix out any type of bugs. You have the upgrade, obviously you see that's going to check for updates and you want to just walk through the steps there, let it do it. Um, if you want to do a clean install, you can also do that as well with this because what it's going to ask you if you want to keep your apps or not. For most people, if you're going to be doing an upgrade, you probably want to at least keep everything that you have there. So definitely make sure you keep that. When you get through all of that, you're going to be going through upgrade, it does updates, and you're going to be welcome with the Windows 11 um, setup screen. So what you want to do from here, um, you obviously just want to go through some of the steps. And we are stopped at this one step, and it's going to be telling you that you need a Microsoft account. And if you look at this way, we try to show you that there isn't really a way to to work around it, at least through clicking and th through showing different options here. Uh, they usually should act. They should allow you to access through like a local account. We did make a similar video on this 10 Pro does allow you just to make to to bypass this. You can just make a local account. No problem. When Windows um, 10 home, you would have to disconnect the Internet to get that to get that to work. So. If you haven't guessed it already and why we're making this video, that's what you have to do in this case because it's going to go look, it's going to always ask you, it's going to prompt you for your Microsoft account and it's always going to prompt you for um, making either making one or setting up one even though you probably didn't have one already. If you already have a Microsoft account, you probably don't need to really watch this video and you probably don't care about this video at all. So you can kind of skip that. You can log in with your credentials and do the same thing. If you didn't have a, a Microsoft account and you just kind of want to stay away from that, you just want to install Windows 11 and use your local account, we do have some workarounds. If you have a laptop here, we're going to be showing more of a laptop example. This is a 10 gen Intel processor, so it's a pretty new laptop still that was making this video. And uh, there's a few options you can go here. So. You see that there is really no way to work around this as of just clicking around. So what we need to do is we need to disconnect the internet. Um, obviously, we're not going to recommend pulling out the Wi-Fi card in your laptop if you have it. Uh, we don't want to recommend that because we don't want you guys to open laptops and potentially damage other things. All you have to do if you have a laptop, uh, especially with airplane mode, or you have the little airplane symbol at the top, you can use one of the function keys and hit it, or you can just normally hit the normal key on the keyboard, and you'll see that little notification in the top left icon most of the time. I don't know if it will come up every single time you hit it. It still might be enabled. You can go ahead and uh, check it out and see if it is. If it is, you'll know you can just hit the back button on the setup and then it will immediately try to go forward again and you'll see that it will just bypass the Microsoft um, login there. Now that's if you have a laptop and uh, that, that has the that's if you have a laptop that does have this function. Most of them do uh, have like a hotkey or anything like that, and especially the newer ones. Most laptops have to be 8th gen or higher. You probably have a hotkey on that, so this would be easy boy to bypass this. Now, if you don't have it or if you have a desktop and you don't want to remove anything or you don't have an Ethernet cable to just pop out and remove, you can also do that too. Just remove the Ethernet cable if that's your main way of internet if you don't have any Wi-Fi card. Um, you can actually go through this. Uh, there's a command line function, and it's pretty easy to bring it up and actually to type it. We're also going to leave this whole command in the description, so you can just copy and paste it. Or it would be kind of weird to copy and paste as you're setting up, but you can at least just copy it. We'll definitely leave it there so it's easier to read for you guys. You want to press Shift and then F10. And what that's going to do is you're going to see the command prompt uh, come up. And you want to type this. I'll show, again, I'll post this in the link in the description, so don't worry. We task kill. Make sure you have two K's there. And then you would do a space forward slash capital F space forward slash capital I and capital M. And then it will be O O B E network connection flow dot exe. And right when you type that command in, if right when you hit enter, you're going to see even in the background how the background, how the back area will change and it will just immediately disconnect the internet and bypass it. So you'll see that go by and then you can just close the command and then you can continue with your Windows installation. This isn't going to affect your internet connection in any way because when you do load to Windows 10, once you get through all the updates and everything, 
once you get through all the whole the setup and then you load Windows uh, 11, it's going to go, you can go check it out. Um, you can just go ahead and reconnect to the internet. It's not like disabling a driver or totally removing it so you don't get it back. You're going to have any troubles after that. It's just cutting it off for this main setup here. So once you do that, you're all good to go. And then you can actually just use Windows 11. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys found this video very informative. Um, please leave a like if you did. Please subscribe for more content. If you want to talk, if you want to see if, if you're, if your laptop or computer is going to be Windows 11 ready. We talk about different requirements that you do need for the Windows 11 upgrade. Go ahead and check out those other videos. Um, we also do lots of repairs and we talk about anything that's informative. We like to talk about any OS, OS issues or anything that we find that may be useful to you guys that we see in a tech shop. So if you're interested in that, subscribe for more. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching, found this video informative, and see you in the next one. Bye.